Another day, another campus. This is day three of the TFP Pro-Life Tour. We're at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. I wonder if they'll actually be favorable to our position here, unlike the last two campuses we went to. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What do you think of what we're doing here? Great, I think it's wonderful. It's Keep amazing. up the good work. We need people to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. Thank you. God bless you. We've been getting a lot of thumbs up and support, but as always, the pro-abortion people are always more outspoken than the pro-life people. That's just how it is, but still, it's been the most supportive campus we've been to so far. It's been really good. No, I was there to support the women that were getting a legal and safe abortion. Oh, there's, a, there's such a thing as a safe abortion? Can you? Much safer than a coat hanger. What is a safe abortion? Does the baby ever survive? Oh, See you later. The most basic right is the right to life. Mm -hmm. So why should any child be killed by abortion? Are you going to take care of them all? Adopt them? Are you take them? Can you take care of all the poor? No. Do, uh, see, that's the thing. So, do the, do, the, do the poor deserve to live? Of course they do, yeah. if they're already born. So why are you depriving the unborn of their lives? If you're in favor of taking care of the poor that are alive, why would you want to kill those so who might be poor? Have you considered all the women that are being aborted? Have you considered them? you want to stand with those women? You're not pro-women's rights. Okay. The United States of America. We're born with the inalienable right to life. I don't think that's what the Constitution says. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, yes. Life? Life, liberty, life? and the pursuit so of happiness. So how do you get life? Abortion takes away life. Mm, not necessarily. We finally scraped together a little counter protest. It's my body. You guys don't have uteruses. You can't argue it. Like, you can't. Pretty sure it's. Good job out here, guys. Oh, you're a man. You don't have a say. Sorry. Do you know how an abortion actually works? Uh, whether I do or not, I know that it ends in what? It ends in killing. Help me out. What does it kill? Tell me. Tell me what it kills. It doesn't kill anything. Oh. It removes, it removes, it removes, That's a it wicked lie. This cluster of tissues, as you call it, grows. And how can something grow if it's dead? It can't. It's growing. It's alive. And it's human. It doesn't right. turn into a chicken. So, so she tried to paint me as someone who was in favor of rape, but in fact, I'm promoting a, a culture that goes against rape because they're saying that sex is just for fun. I'm saying it's within the context of marriage. And when you lead a life where you say, oh, sex is, is for fun, right? Your, your and God, then right? it leads to a rape culture. Okay, so if, 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 if she is well, raped, is she, is she supposed to have that baby? You believe that she's supposed to have that child? Oh, absolutely, because the child should not suffer for the crimes of the father, right? The okay. father doesn't even get the death penalty. So why should the child suffer? So this is one of the more pro-life campuses we've been to. I mean, what you're seeing here are the people that just don't really care about class or maybe liberal professors but the majority of people here have been supporting us on this campus. So don't lose hope and be pro-life. God bless.